All right, in this video, we're going to show how to solder a wire. When I'm soldering wires, I like a little bit wider tip like this. It just seems to do a better job of sending the heat where it needs to be. If you want a little bit more mobile solution, I use this for a long time. I think, yeah, Power Probe makes this one. This is a butane soldering iron. Milwaukee also has one now that's a battery powered one. I've used it a few times. I don't personally own one, but I've used one and they work pretty well. I have my wire here. I've already stripped off about 10 millimeters or so. I 3D printed this stand. I'll put a link in the description. Somebody else made this design. One of the first things that I want to do is I want to tin my soldering tip. So here, this is the solder I'm using. This is 0.8 lead free solder. I go about 690 degrees Fahrenheit when I'm heating this up and we just want to tin the tip. So I'm just going to put the solder on here. Okay, that smoke that you're seeing is the flux that's inside the solder. Once I've tinned my tip, then I can clean it. This is just like a brass material. Some people use sponges. I prefer this. It just seems to keep this the tip nice and clean. What we're looking for is kind of that shininess right there. The material, it will actually be able to solder better, prevent oxidation on our tips and, and so on. First, I heat up the wire and then I'm going to touch the solder to the other side. You'll notice that when you have solder on the tip, it tends to do a better job of getting solder flowing. So now that I have these two tinned, I want to make sure that I put on my insulation right here. And I'm going to get them as close as possible to touching each other. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of heat on here. And you'll see that they join. Okay, so we want to definitely test our solder joint just like any connection. Kind of a mechanical connection here as well. Some people say don't use the solder as glue to be able to put these two wires together, but it's a pretty strong connection. I can't physically pull those two apart, so we've got a pretty solid connection right there. But you can see that was quite a bit of work. I've got heat inside the wire and stuff, so I definitely prefer the crimping method, but I want to make sure that you're aware of how to do this. So then I'm going to put my heat shrink over that, and then I use a hot air gun. You can use a lighter, you just need to be very careful with that. And then as far as taking care of your soldering iron after, if you're not going to solder for a while, it's actually a good idea to kind of put a little bit of a blob of solder on there. This is going to just help it with oxidation and other problems. It's going to prolong the life of your tip. So you don't need to clean it off or anything. Just get that solder on there and then just leave it. And then obviously make sure to wait for that to cool down before you go ahead and store it again. 